Hi everybody, Samuel Sub from SubscriptSeries.com here. I know for most of my subscribers this isn't the type of videos you're used to seeing on this channel as I am primarily a NASCAR fan and post NASCAR videos. And while I am a NASCAR fan, I also love football along with baseball and basketball. But which one do I love the most out of these? Well, probably football. And which football team do I love the most? Well, it's got to be my Arkansas Razorbacks. So today I thought we'd take a look at their 2021 schedule and make some predictions. Is there going to be some bias here? Maybe. Am I going to be a little too optimistic? Maybe. But tell me your thoughts in the comments. Just do so civilly and respectfully with your peers. I don't want any comment wars or whatever about a football team. There's just no point. So let's start it off. On Saturday, September 4th, we're going to be playing Rice. It's obviously a home game. Not sure about TV. But I think this is going to be a win, and I'm not just going to be predicting if the Hogs win or lose. I'm also going to be telling my score prediction. So I'm going to say Arkansas 31, Rice 14. I'm not going for a 60-0 blowout. This is going to be a slow game. I, I Honestly, I think Rice may take a 7-0 lead, or it might be tied at 7. It's going to be a close game for a little bit. Rice cannot hang with an SEC team for long. Um... But I do think that Arkansas will win this game. Um, they'll, they'll win out on the end. Rice isn't just going to get too tired. They're not used to playing IC teams. They will not win this game. Arkansas will win 31-14. Um, they'll pull away in the end. And it's going to be, you know, it's KJ's uh, first game knowing he's going to be starting. Missouri was kind of like a last-minute thing. Oh, Felipe's injured, you know, go in. Um, so I think this will be a little bit slow, just a little bit. Don't freak out on me, Cog fans. It's going to be a little bit slow. I'm not saying Arkansas is going to lose this game or win on a game-winning field goal, but it will be kind of close. You know, you got to respect all these guys. You got to respect them. Um, um, but I think Arkansas will get the win, chalk it up. Ar Arkansas is 1-0. and oh. Next up, the game I am most excited for all season, number 21, Texas, coming into Fayetteville. Oh my gosh, 6 p.m. Central Time, ESPN, national television, whole country's going to be watching, biggest game of the weekend, and uh, fun fact, my cousin's fiance is a big Texas fan, I'm hoping to watch this game with them, um, or at least get his reaction, because um, you know what, I'm going to say Arkansas wins this game, I think Arkansas pulls it off, I'm going to say 38-35, I will think, I do think this is going to be a high scoring game. Texas does have a new coach and Steve Sarkeesian, but they also do have a good offense. They're ranked number 21. It's not going to be an easy game for either team, but I think KJ Jefferson, what he showed us at Missouri, is an ability to just not give up. It's an ability to keep putting points on the board no matter what the situation is, and I think that's what's going to happen in this game. I think, yeah, our defense might give us some points, but I think KJ in this offense is going to bounce right back. We might have lost Mike Woods, but we still got KJ. We got Traylon Smith. We got TJ Hammonds. We got Traylon we got Trey Knox. We got Jaqueline Crawford. We got um, Dominique Johnson. We got a whole host of weapons. We just can't wait to break out. Tyson Morris is another one. Our defense also, I think they'll come up with a couple big stops. You know, I think that this will be a shootout, but I think it's going to be a game. Arkansas does pull it off and chalk it up. Hogs are 2-0. I don't think they're ranked yet, though. It is a win against 21 Texas. Who knows? They're still going to be 21st after week one, but it's a win against Rice and Texas. I don't think that warrants a ranking yet. However, depending on how we do in this Georgia Southern game, it might. So, Georgia Southern Eagles come to town, come into Fayetteville. Arkansas is going to have some momentum. Arkansas is going to win the football game 35-7. Not a huge Alabama-level blowout, but still a blowout. 28-point win. I don't think Arkansas starts off slow. They'll probably be up like 21 0, 21 7 a half, and just kind of pull away in the second half. Chalk it up 3 0. Still don't think Arkansas is ranked. Texas AM, it's going to be a tough game. Um, it is back in Arlington, which is good. Arkansas has not beat AM since they entered the SEC. So this is going to be a very interesting game. It's going to be a game where I believe Arkansas takes the first loss of the season. Um, but uh, it's going to be a game where Arkansas plays well in. Arkansas, if I give them one thing, the thing this team always did last year, even when they're down, is fight. It was 42-17 against A&M. They made it 42-31. Um, it was 52-3 against Alabama, the final score. But Arkansas kept fighting. You had a Jalen Catalan interception that got called back due to a penalty. Arkansas does not quit. Um, under Sam Pittman. Arkansas against Georgia even. Even when they got down, it was 37-10. Arkansas kept playing their hardest. Arkansas will not quit. They will not bend down on one knee for a better team. 
This is the A&M team that's ranked sixth coming into the season. Will they be there when we play? Heck, who knows? They could be number one for all we know. Um, not like it, but, you know, college football is a weird world. So... I'm going to say Arkansas is 3-1 and one after this game. Obviously not going to be ranked. I'm saying 24-21 A&M. Um, last year was um, the uh, biggest loss for Arkansas in this game. And it seems like a while because Arkansas, even when they've lost these games, have always put up fights. Even in the uh, terrible Chad Morris era, um, Arkansas still put up fights. And they still had chances to win these football games. You had Ty Story throw a pick at the end of 2018. You had Ben Hicks. Just couldn't quite get it to Cheyenne O'Grady at the end of 2019. Last year, um, last year you could definitely tell the A and M A and M y'all deserved a playoff spot last year. You might have been getting killed by Alabama for a second time, but you still deserved a playoff spot. A and M showed how good they were last year when they played. It's home field might have had a bit of hand in that, but A uh, and M's a really good football team. Not a team to be overlooked. Um, not a game. Any team, neither team can say that they are for sure going to win. But I think A and M pulls it off and gets the dub. Hogs are three and one going to Georgia. They're going to lose in Georgia. Okay, it's a road game in Athens again. Georgia against probably a pretty big, pretty raucous crowd. Um, Arkansas is going to lose. They're not as tough as Georgia. They're not as big as Georgia. They are not as good as Georgia. Um, hate to say it. Arkansas loses 24 to 14. This will put some points up on the board. Um, last year against Georgia, Arkansas actually played pretty well. They kind of collapsed late in the game. They just got too tired. The offense couldn't stay on the field, and the defense just kind of. Yeah, I mean, there was no way the defense could sustain playing like they were for four quarters. The offense just wasn't that great in that game. But there was a lot of good moments from that A&M game, uh, or uh, Georgia game last year, rather. Excuse me. So the Hawks are 3-2 and two now. And it was a little bit of a slide. Um, so after three home games, now you're going on three essentially road games, one neutral site and then two more, two road games. At Ole Miss, this is a very interesting game, game that can go either way, and I'm going to say it's going to go the Hogs' way. Um, last year, it, last year it did, and I mean, again, this is this is an Ole Miss team. Arkansas and Ole Miss always put on a show. Ole Miss could be, you know, Ole, what game is this for Arkansas? Game number six. So Arkansas, could, Ole Miss could be five and zero. Arkansas could be zero and five, and Arkansas would still put up a fight. I mean, I know 2019 they really didn't, but oh my gosh, that Chad Morris team was even worse in 2018, in my opinion. 2018, they still put up a fight. They blew a lead, but they put up a fight. 2017, we beat them in Oxford. 2016, we beat them in Fayetteville. 2015 is the fourth and 25 miracle. So I'm going to say Arkansas gets it done. It's not going to be my miracle. Arkansas is going to outplay the Rebels in a high-scoring shootout. Arkansas wins this one. 35-31. Chalk it up. Put it on the board. Hogs are 4-2. First win in SEC play for the Razorbacks. 1-2 in conference play, heading into a home game against Auburn. Arkansas is going to want revenge. You had that awful no call last year. Never let a Sun Belt ref onto an SEC football field ever again. SEC, you learned your lesson. Arkansas got robbed of a win against Auburn last year. They ain't going to let it happen this year. Arkansas is going to win this game 28-17. to um, Bo Nix is mediocre. Uh, Brian Harson is going to, I don't think he's going to have a great year at Auburn. They might win seven, maybe eight games if they get lucky, but... Um, Auburn's not going to be great next year. I'll be surprised if they're ranked at all at any point in the season. So Arkansas, they, they're rolling here. They got two SEC wins in a row, one on the road against Ole Miss, one at home against Auburn. They're 5-2, and 2-2 two. Two and two in conference play after a 28-17 win over the Tigers. Hogs versus UAPB. I cannot wait for this game. It's homecoming. It's War Memorial Stadium. UAPB is fi fixing to get rocked, 52 to nothing. Arkansas. I'm mean, Arkansas is only shut out on the year, uh, 52 to nothing. They beat down on the Golden Lions. I'm sorry, UAPB, but you should not have scheduled this game. It's just going to be an embarrassment for you on television. Then we got a bye week on the 30th. Um, and then Mississippi State on November 6th. Um, Mississippi State on November 6th. It is a home game for the Hogs, and I'm going to say it goes the Hogs' way. That would be four straight wins, three straight SEC wins for Arkansas, and that would put them at what would that be? Would that be uh, six and two? I believe yes, six and two. So Arkansas six and two. Now this is the week where I say Arkansas gets ranked. I say they're probably in the high 20s, like 23rd, 24th. Why they weren't worked earlier, because Ole Miss, Auburn, UAPB, not ranked, Mississippi State not ranked as of right now, but that could change. I doubt it will, though. I don't think either of those teams are going to be ranked, or at least not very high. I don't think Ole Miss can go higher than 20th. Auburn, I don't think it's going to be ranked. Mississippi State maybe 24th or 23rd or something. That's about as high as I think they go. UAPB is an FCS team, so, yeah. <laughs> um, 
But anyway, so I think Arkansas will win this game. Um, I'm going to say the score will be 24-21. It's going to be a close game. Mississippi State, like Arkansas, doesn't just bend over uh, on one, just doesn't bend bend down on one knee and say, hey, take this win. They'll fight, you know, uh, and that's what it's all about. You know, it's about fighting, uh, not just saying, oh, yep, yeah, you won, you know, take it. Um, but I think Arkansas will take this game. And then LSU will take our souls and um, make them sad again. LSU is going to be way better than I think a lot of people thought they will this year. Uh, they're number 16 going in. It's a road game. Death Valley's going to be rocking. Hogs lose out on the boot again. Haven't won it since, what, 2014? It's so like seven, eight years now. Oh, it's depressing, but, you know, uh, Arkansas will not win this game. Um, it's not going to take a miracle for Arkansas to win it by any means, but it will take um, a lot, and I just don't think Sam Pittman's team has enough to beat LSU right now. Um... So, unfortunately, I don't think they do it. I'm going to say the score is going to be 28-20. to 20. Arkansas uh, probably kicks two field goals. I just don't think the Hogs are going to have enough. LSU is clearly the better team here on paper. And I think they'll show on the field. Next, you got Alabama. Easy loss. Chalk it up for the Hogs, unfortunately. I'm going to say 45-17. I'm going to say Arkansas will at least score a touchdown in this game. A, a two touchdowns. Uh, but... Um, the, it's Alabama, number one Alabama, on the road. It's already tough enough at home, but when you throw a raucous Bryant Denny Stadium in there, Nick Saban, as long as Nick Saban's alive, he will he will coach Bama to double digit wins every year. I mean, it's just gonna happen. Um, so yeah, Alabama uh, will win that game. And then we got Mizzou. Hogs have clinched bowl eligibility with the bowl eligibility with their win against Mississippi State. So now Arkansas here. They are, um, they're not looking great right now, I believe. Wait, do they have, yeah, they have seven wins, I believe. Hang on a minute. Let, I'm sorry. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, Arkansas, seven wins. I'm so sorry. They are seven and four. They clinch bowl eligibility with their win against UAPB. So they're seven and four. They're probably not ranked. And they're going to be in Missouri on CBS on 2.30, Friday after Thanksgiving. They're going to be in Missouri. Okay, calling it right now. Hogs in Fayetteville, they want to win this game. This is a huge game. It will be a close game. It always is a close game, excluding um, 2018. We don't talk about that, though. Um, so Arkansas is going to win it 31-24. Mark my words. I'm not saying it's going to be a score, but I'm saying Arkansas is going to win the battle line rivalry for the first time since, what, 20... 15, I believe. 2015, I believe, was the last time they won this game. So they got a couple. They got three trophies to go get. And only going to say Arkansas wins one of them. They're going to lose to them. They're going to lose to um, LSU. Um, yeah, and then SC Championship. Arkansas is not making the SC Championship. Will they be ranked? I mean, I don't know. Depending on what bowl game they went to, I think Arkansas is going to win their bowl game. I think they're probably pretty upset about not getting the chance to even play in there this last year. Stupid TCU and their COVID issues. But, um, yeah, 9-4, and four, will they be ranked? If they are, low 20s. But I'm going to say 8-4 and four for the regular season. It, I can't make a bowl prediction until we know what bowl we're in, until we know what team we're playing. I just can't. Until that team plays a whole, you know, I'm not going to be able to do that. But anyway, 8-4. Um, I'm saying 8-4. and four. I mean, is you optimistic? Maybe. I don't know. Share with us in the comments. Just be civil. Um, anyway, that's basically going to do it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, visit our website, stubscupseries.com. I'm Samuel Stubbs from stubscupseries.com. God bless. Peace out. Bye. Subscribe.